The candidates for at-large seat, Knoxville City Council. Okay, uh, Ms. Parker, we're going to start with you on this one. And I'd like each of you to tell us what is one thing in the budget that gets too much money mm -hmm. and what's thing, one thing in the city budget that does not get enough money? Yeah. Well, um, my platform focuses on our social services and wanting more money towards economic development and, of course, to affordable housing and solving our affordable housing crisis. Um, of course, our, uh, our public safety complex that we were just talking about and, and all of those officials make up the large majority of our budget. Um, and so that's probably where we would have to look for, for savings uh, in order to increase our budget in social services. But I think it would be uh, a, an easy exchange because where we invest in social services, we save money and where we have to police. John, you know, I think uh, the thing that concerns me most about it's not so much that it's getting so much money, it's just where all of our money is going. Almost our property taxes are basically just going to public safety. I mean, it's almost an even wash, about 46% or so. If you look at pensions, uh, pensions tend to keep going up. I make almost $670,000 in this new budget. We need to be concerned about where our money's going and be more conservative. I I'm more concerned about finances than I am about RECO, to be honest with you. I'm concerned about the half a million dollars they spent for art. I love art, but let private enterprise take over. Uh, we fought an affordable, quote unquote, complex and pond gap is rammed down our throat. Private enterprise could do a better job. As a gentleman, our neighborhood is building single family houses, very affordable. So that's about two and a half million dollars right there that could have been saved. My more would be street paving. Each district gets about six miles of paving annually. I would be to increase that and also sidewalks. I'm going to pass on the too much. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I have a lot of concern about the pension. I know it's been in directed in the past. Um, there's still a, a significant amount that's unfunded, um, and I want to make certain that we can see if there's anything that we can do about that. Um, as far as more money, I want to make certain that our Great Schools Partnership, any kind of opportunity that we have to increase and be more involved in our county schools is there in our budget. Scooters, real quick. David, keep them or stop them? Get the scooters like I had when I was growing up. I think this is a hazard. They get right in the middle of the street and everything. Of course, I'm going to drive real slow, but others might not be so, so careful. But it, it's a danger to me. Hubert? Keep them if we enforce them. Enforce where they are ridden. You think they're, we're not right they're now? No. They're supposed to be on the, on the streets, and I see more on the sidewalks than I see on the streets. That's for sure. Amy? Uh, invest more in protected infrastructure so that uh, people who want to go on scooters, on bikes, on walk, that they have that ability to be safe and be on the road and have yeah. that option. I would say keep them, but we need like bike carousels, we need scooter carousels so they have a home. I think it's causing a mess downtown and I think somebody is going to be killed personally and it's not worth one life to me. I, I, I don't like them. You pull it. Well, we appreciate all of you joining us for this discussion on Inside Tennessee. Uh, it takes a lot of courage to run. Um, and get your name out there and take a stand on issues and show the community what you believe in. And so uh, from all of us, we appreciate your time and best of luck in the primary, which is in August. Thank, Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. Absolutely. Appreciate you. If you missed any of our conversations on Inside Tennessee, you can go to our website, WBIR.com, click on the banner there, and it'll take you to Inside Tennessee. We also have a podcast if you'd like to listen in the car, although don't touch your cell phone, especially after <laughs> July 1. That's right. <laughs> we'll leave it there for now, but see you next week right here on Inside Tennessee. Goodbye.